Do you wonder if that baby's ever going to come out of your body? It may feel like, like you're going to be pregnant forever. Maybe you've heard that there's something called sweeping your membranes that might help put you into labor. Or you had a cervical exam and you were told your membranes were bulging. What does that mean? If you go into labor and you haven't ruptured your membranes, maybe you've heard that an amniotomy will be performed or your provider will rupture your membranes. What does that entail? In this video, I'm going to give you some answers to those questions. Welcome to Dr. Kathy at Your Cervix. My name is Dr. Kathy Wolf. I've been an award-winning OBGYN for over 25 years, and I was a registered nurse prior to that. I am not here to be a substitute for your physician, but just to answer some of your women's medical health care questions. So let's talk about the sweeping of the membranes. It's also known as stripping of the membranes. And what does that mean? It means that you sweep the membranes away from the lower uterine segment. Now that's a lot of medical jargon, so let me kind of go through that and explain. So this is your uterus. The anatomy of the uterus is, this is the fundus, and that's where, this is the powerhouse of the uterus. This is where the contractions really occur, and that's where your strength is. This middle portion is the body of the uterus, this lower portion here is the lower uterine segment and then this is the cervix and the cervix is the opening into the uterus it is what connects the vagina to the uterus so what is stripping of the membranes let me show you so in this uterus I've taken away a little area so you can see and what stripping of the membranes are is I literally go up with my glove and you'll be able to see here that I strip away the membrane so you can see where my glove is and I'm stripping those membranes away from that lower uterine segment and I just go around like this in a circle and that's what I do and I do that a couple of times now what is the criteria to strip membranes one your cervix has to be open if you're not dilated at all I can't put my finger up there to strip away the membranes the other is that I want that baby's head down I don't want to strip your membranes and put you into labor if the baby's breech or if you're having medical issues, such as a placenta previa, I won't do stripping of the membranes. And then what's the purpose? The purpose is that it's going to release hormone, a prostaglandin, that's gonna put you into labor. So I don't wanna strip your membranes if you're early, if you're 37 or 38 weeks of pregnancy. I wanna really wait until your due date in order to strip your membranes. So I need the head down, I need it in a lower position because one of the risks that you have from stripping membranes is that I can rupture your membranes at that time. And if I rupture your membranes and the head is not low, we can have a cord accident or the cord can protrude through. Other things that you can expect at times from, from stripping your membranes is that you may have bloody show or some bleeding. You may get uncomfortable too because it will cause your uterus to contract. Now what is bulging membranes? If you've been examined and someone says your membranes are bulging, um, what that is is that the membranes that are around the baby are actually protruding through the cervix here. So when I go up to do an exam, the first thing I feel is what we call a bulging bag and these membranes are just hanging out. They're pushing down and you can feel them hanging out. Now let's go to the last, amniotomy or artificial rupture of membranes or rupturing of membranes. In order to do that, there's two different instruments that I use. One is called an amni hook and the other is a finger cot. And let me show you what those are. So the amni hook is white. It looks like a crochet hook. Your friends may say that. It looks just like a crochet hook. And you'll, you can see that here with the tip of, of this. 
the finger cot goes right over the examiner's finger and there's just a little niche there on the end that's a little bit sharp and that can nick the membranes too. So you use one of those two methods, either the Emmy hook or the finger cot. When I'm gonna rupture someone's membranes when they're in labor, I tend to use the Emmy hook. And so what I do is I hold it between my fingers like this, I'll do the vaginal exam, I'll go up and get my fingers in the cervix, and then I just take and nick the membranes. And then once I do that, I either usually see a trickle or a gush. So the answers to the questions today of, is that baby ever gonna come out of your body and are you gonna be pregnant for the rest of your life? That's no, even though it feels that way. What about sweeping the membranes to put you into labor? You saw how that's done. You need to be dilated in order for that to happen and the baby's head needs to be down. The third is um, what is a bulging bag and you saw what that is. The membranes are protruding through the cervix and when the examiner goes to check you that's the first thing they feel. And then fourth the amniotomy and you saw how that is done. So now let's go to the Howl of Hope. Change your life today don't gamble on the future. Act now without delay. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to belong to the Wolf Pack, please subscribe. If you have comments about having your membrane sweeped um, and would like to leave that below, or you have an inspirational hollow of hope that you like, please leave that below. And thanks so much for watching.